Coming up next, I'm gonna give you my top 10 feminine compliment getting fragrances. Did a top five for men the other day. Very popular video. People like to see this. So I get a lot of requests from my female subscribers and I don't wanna let you guys down. So twist on this is I came to Maurice here at Osme Perfumery because of course I don't wear feminine fragrances. So I used his expertise to compile the top 10 compliment getting female fragrances. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And today's video is a little bit different from my normal videos because I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 female compliment getter fragrances. People like to see these things, I get it. Who doesn't like compliments? I get it. Who doesn't like to be noticed? I understand it. It's human nature. We all want to be recognized, right? We all want attention. So, uh, being that I don't wear mostly feminine, although almost every fragrance, almost every fragrance I have, I would consider unisex. And really, perfume can be worn by anybody. So, I do wear some feminine ones quote feminine. Perfume is perfume. Wear what you want. Bottom line is what I say. But these are 10 ones that definitely trend more feminine. They're either outright labeled as feminine or they're unisex that kind of lean more feminine. All right. So having said that, I'm going to go starting with actually, let me kind of block so you guys can't see the list. All right. Coming in, this is gonna be honorable mention, and this is Amouage Honor Woman. Have you ever smelled this one? It is like all Amouage. This is one of my actual personal favorites. I'm glad that this is in the list compiled by Maurice here at Osme, again, for the best compliment getting fragrances for women. Uh, this is one over and over. It sells really well. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance, and you get that Amouage quality. And I like how they do their feminine bottles. They look a little bit different from the traditional bottles. That's honorable mention. Next. All right. We're coming in at, this would be number 10. This is from Paris Monte Carlo. This is Ylang Ylang Nosy B. Can you see it there? Ylang Ylang Nosy B. Of course, look at that juice. Look at that bottle. So rich and decadent. If you like Ylang Ylang, one of the most popular floral fragrance materials in the history of perfumery, Paris Monte Carlo does it as well or better than anybody. And this is a fragrance that the women come here, they buy it, and over and over, it's something that gets sold and resold because it gets them noticed. And I love the smell of this on women. I have smelled this a few times now here on different ladies. <laughs> it's a beauty. All right, next. Coming in, number nine. Number nine, and this is going to be, da, da, da. I love holding it out for you guys. You can see it, see it. From Initio, this is Absolute Aphrodisiac. Have you ever smelled Absolute? Let me see, you can see the bottle there, but it's really cool. Um, this is again, kind of a white flower, but it's got a sexiness to it, where Honor, Woman from Amouage was a little bit more, you know, traditional feminine floral. This has got like an amber and it's just a little bit sexier and darker. To me, this is one that's perfect for when you want to get intimate, ladies, and you really want to have your man just like find you irresistible as they're kind of smelling your skin and kissing you. This is absolute, as the name says, aphrodisiac. All right. Next, coming in number eight, one of the all-time best-selling feminine fragrances. I see it flies off the shelf when I'm ever in here, and that is Rose's Musk from, of course, the French house Montau. Obviously, very much a musky rose fragrance, so that muskiness, again, adds that little sensuality and sexiness to it. Again, this, to me, trends more towards those fragrances that when you're kind of getting close and intimate rather than trying to say attract a stranger or get a compliment from a stranger. But 
Again, when you talk to Maurice, one of the biggest compliment getting fragrances, and that's why it's number eight. Coming in now, number seven, one of my also favorites from this house, and I'll be honest, I've worn this a number of times myself. This is La Capitale. La Capitale from Serjoff, of course. Just, if you look at the ingredients on this, and I'm gonna read it to you, I'm gonna put on my glasses because it's so decadent. You've got strawberry, caramel, peach, You've got pepper, labdomen, leather, patchouli, Iranian saffron, ginger, rose, amber, oud, benzoin, vanilla, bourbon. So when you look at those elements, that's why I said I've worn this a number of times myself. I don't own the bottle, but I would totally purchase this because I love Serge Off fragrances. And again, look at that. Look at that delicious juice in that bottle. In fact, I'm going to spray it. Ah, probably of all the fragrances, yeah, of all the fragrances here, this is the one that I personally would wear the most. It's the most unisex to me. But it's also, as I said, coming in at number seven on the best complimented fragrance. All right, next. Now we're coming in at number six. <laughs> you know, this is as big and as popular as it gets. Delina, the original. You've got Delina Exclusive. You've got, of course, a bunch of flankers now because this has been such a popular fragrance for the house Parfums de Marly. You know, Delina is just, again, when you look at these notes, just to read them to if you've never tried it, you'd probably have to be under a rock if you've never tried it. But the bergamot, you have the rhubarb, you have the lychee. So the lychee is the thing that separates this me from a lot of the other feminine fragrances. That lychee just gives it this juicy, wet, sexiness and I personally when I see women talk about this probably would have picked myself that this would have been number one but this is coming in again number six not too shabby it's a winner it's a beast and it's got to be one of the top selling feminine fragrances in the last you know 10 years coming in now top five Five. This may be a little bit of a surprise for some of you. And this is Balad. Balad from Lark. You know, how would I describe this? A lot of people who smell, I would say, Delina, and they smell this, they like it the same, or some even like it more. It's a similar kind of smell to that. And Lark, if you've not tried this house, this French house, Oh man, they have Argentium, they have a new one, Chrysalide, which again are more unisex or masculine. Chrysalide to me is definitely masculine. Just a fantastic house. I mean, one of my favorites. And I think they're somewhat under the radar because the bottles are cool. They're very much like pieces of architecture. If you go back and look at the history of the house is actually the founder is based in studying architecture. So there's just art to this. And this is a wonderful, Again, very unique fragrance and it stands out. And so it's one of those ones that women, when they come in and they try this as compared to the more popular ones like Honor or again, Delina or some of the others that are still coming down the list. I gotta tell you, they picked this one. So there you go. Now I'm gonna come in number four. Uh, okay, oh yeah. I want to read the note. Well, the notes aren't on here because I, this one is so interesting to me because I've only smelled it a few times. And this is Sweetie Oud. Look at that bottle from Roja Dove. I mean, just let me see if the notes are on back here so I can give you a little bit more information. Nope. So I'm just going to spray it here. Obviously, it's a more feminine take on Oud. I've sprayed this. Oh. This is, so, this is going to be for a woman who's, I, when you smell it, you know how your memory comes back and you remember how this is so great about fragrance? It reminds me of the first time I smelled this and I smelled it on a woman who was actually here. And it was someone who came in who was a businesswoman who was like, this is like a power office, power suit, lawyer, banker, businesswoman, entrepreneur. This is one to me which again, 
is very unisex and could be pulled off by a man just as easily, but it has got balls behind it. So ladies, when you're looking to get compliments from men in like the boardroom or a business meeting or a sales meeting, sweetie oud, woof, this one's got the, the balls to do it. All right. All right. What do we have next? Oh yeah. Oh boy. This is just, this one is great because I personally loved it for a long time and I'm glad to see it's on this list. From Nobile, 1942, this is La Danza. La Danza, this is a bergamot apple fragrance. And by the way, I wear this one myself. It's got cedar, it's got cinnamon, it's got musk. This is extremely unisex. And I mentioned earlier, of course, uh, La Capitale. I forgot, this is also one that I would wear just as equally. This is such a great crossover unisex fragrance, but again, talking to Maurice, this is his third best complimented fragrance for women. Real, really great fragrance and really good prices. These are actually much cheaper than a lot of the other ones. Uh, don't quote me, but I think for this, you're talking about $130 roughly uh, on this particular bottle of Nobile 1942, great French niche perfume house. So try that out if you haven't tried it. All right, down to the final two. Um, you may have already kind of seen it back there. This is, uh, what am I gonna say? This is Fusion Sacré. Fusion Sacré. Fusion Sacré is again, one of the classics. It's spicy. It's a little sweet. Again, it's extremely unisex. So now I have to add a third one to one that I wear actually personally quite a bit all the time because this is one that I absolutely can't get enough of. Um, the bottles, look at that, just pieces of art. Let's see if there's any more notes listed on the bottom that I can tell you about. Uh, unfortunately not, but again, if you, if you don't know Majda Bakali, one of the really great niche houses. Um, and I have a couple of their fragrances. They always tend to have a lot of incense or cedar. And so works really well on the skin. And little piece of information before the number one that I'm about to announce came in about a year and a half or so ago. This was the number one complimented and the number one sold to women here at Osme. So this is a huge success. But that leads me to number one. Probably some of you guessed it, and this is again unisex, but definitely leans more feminine, although men pull this off too. Um, without it, should I you see it there? See it? See it? See it? Ah, Herba Pura. Herba Pura, they call it Herba Crack. It's so addictive. Without fail, whenever I'm in here and there's women in the store, and they have smelled other fragrances and they smell this, I swear almost every time they buy this. I don't know what it is, it's like crack, it's like that fruity note that's now become very popular, that almost pineapple-y, fruity, sweet, effervescent, reminds me almost like of, like a, of a 7-Up cocktail with fruit and alcohol in it. It's delicious. I wear this myself, again, it's very unisex, but. There's no doubt it leans more feminine and that more women than men come in to buy this. And it is therefore your number one complimenting getting fragrance for women. You can't go wrong, ladies, if you buy this one. You're gonna get compliments. You're gonna get noticed by men because they're gonna smell it because they like it for themselves too. Think about that. You know, that's intuitive. They're gonna like it because they like it for themselves. So anyways, there you have it. Top 10 female, feminine, complimented, compliment getter fragrances in the niche world as told to me and as described by the owner or co-owner of Osme Perfumery, Maurice. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't signed up for Synth Explore 2021, click in the comments below or my information below for the link. Make sure you want to attend that. It's coming up on December 5th. We're basically about a month away. So, and I'm gonna be one of the speakers there this year. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace and love.